With everything in our lives getting bigger, phones, bills, cars, houses, let's sit back and enjoy the little things. This is Glenn with Mind's Eye Design, and we're bringing you 15 awesome mini vehicles. Number 15. The Mini 1499 GT Special Edition is a nod to the past 71 model of the 1275 GT. It comes with a 101 horsepower turbocharged engine, allowing it to hit 60 miles an hour in just 10 seconds. It has a top speed of 121 miles per hour. The Mini is fitted with fabric and leather trimmed sports seats, a JCW sports steering wheel, upgraded stereo, and a few carbon black details. Only 1,499 of these cars will be made, and all of them will be for sale only in the UK. The price point is as attractive as the car, coming in at around $23,000. Number 14. This little guy will allow you to have an untold amount of fun on the water while bringing a smile to everyone's face. The mini boat, aptly named, is only six feet long. It's made from precision-cut marine-grade plywood. It includes internal bulkheads to provide flotation even if the boat is flooded. It's all electric, which means you can avoid the high price of gas on the water, and is able to reach speeds of 3.5 knots. The bare hole kits are available for sale for around $950, with the option to upgrade based on your own design. If you just want the building plans, you can get those for $95. Number 13. Designed to be sold during the fuel crisis in the 70s, this electric mini car is sure to draw some attention. Not only did this electric vehicle successfully combat the fuel crisis, it became one of the best selling cars in the 70s. Powered by a rechargeable 36 volt battery, which was later switched to a 48 volt battery, the car can travel around 40 miles before it needs to be recharged. The car was only eight feet long, so it only had enough room for two passengers. The old 36 volt option could travel around 30 miles per hour, while the new 48 volt option could travel to around 40 miles per hour. There are quite a few used ones up for sale for around $7,000. Number 12. This Subaru Sambar fire truck earned the nickname Little Giant Guardian of the City when it was a first responder to the 6.7 magnitude earthquake in Nagano, Japan. It was able to get into the smaller villages while the defense forces moved into the larger cities. Currently residing in Seattle, Washington, the vehicle is in pristine condition. It has a 544cc engine, a fire utility bed, a 500cc pump motor, and working lights, sirens, and loudspeaker. There are two seats up front and one in the back for your fire chief. It's currently up for auction and estimated to sell anywhere from $15,000 to $45,000. Number 11. Ever wanted a pontoon boat but didn't want to deal with the hassle of the size? Boy, have I got good news for you. Coming in 10, 12, and 14 foot options, this little pontoon is extremely customizable. On top of the standard packages they offer, you can custom build your own. It has options for enclosed railings, swim ladders, boat covers, navigation lights, a 20 gallon live well fishing pole holders, a deep cycle battery, a center mounted table, an onboard battery charger, and up to four seats. Perfect for ponds, lagoons, and protected waters, the Pontini is perfect for hunting, fishing, and all around recreation on the water. Pricing starts out around $7,000. Number 10. Available in a multitude of different models, the Minimax aircraft are all single-seat, mid-wing, strut-braced, single-engine aircraft that are available in kit form for your own construction. Constructed predominantly from wood truss with plywood gussets and covered with doped aircraft fabric, over 2,000 of these planes have been constructed and flown. All of the models have a construction time from 250 to 300 hours and have been in the air since the 80s. Team Minimax has kept their focus of providing great little aircraft at an affordable cost to get everyone flying. You can get your own kit for around $6,000. Number 9. This Roadster microcar was developed in Sydney, Australia by Buckle Motors. The Dart was based off the chassis and mechanical components of the German Gogo mobile. 
Roadster style with no doors, the entire car weighed only 760 pounds. It came with the option of a 300cc and a 400cc engine and had a small luggage compartment built into the nose of the car. The Dart was produced from 1959 to 1961 and around 700 of these were produced. While you won't be able to get one new, we have seen some sell at auctions for around $25,000. Number 8. The Laker 712 DLX Mini Pontoon has everything you need for your day out on the water. 12 feet long and 7 feet wide, it comes standard with bench seating in the back, a sun shade top, removable chairs up front, four fishing pole holders, underseat storage, and an electric motor with an onboard charger. It has all aluminum construction with a spray-on non-skid decking. The pontoons are welded and bolted on with no need for a bile pump because the pontoons are sealed. They even offer free shipping if you buy your own trailer. Pricing for this starts out at around $10,000. Number 7. The Laker 2 crazy little vehicle is the product of TNT Promotional Vehicles. They sacrificed two Smart for Two cars to the truck gods and got this mashup. And it basically looks like the back end of one car attached to the back end of the other. Not much is known about this car except what was on their eBay listing for the car. TNT said it can be used as an official pace truck at motorsports events. It's also said to be middle wheel drive. There are no specifications on motor upgrades, so you could be hauling all that extra weight with the stock 70 horsepower motor. The listed price for this car is $16,000. Number 6. The Laker 600 Multipla is one of the classiest mini vehicles we've ever seen. Not actually a car, this micro minivan was capable of seating up to six people, including the driver with fold down seats in the back. Widely used as a taxi in many parts of Italy, the Multipla would get you where you needed to go eventually. With a max speed of 57 miles per hour and a zero to 50 time of 43 long seconds, people didn't get this car for racing. It had a 633cc engine that only pushed out 21 horsepower. You won't get one new, but there are quite a few used ones for sale for around 45,000. Number five. The Exhilarator 151 is a 15 foot power boat. Yes, a power boat with enough power to even pull toys behind it on the water. It has a deep V hull for cutting waves and quick turning ability. It has two seats up front and a fold-up bench seat in the back. It's rated for up to a 60 horsepower engine to be mounted on the back. While the motor isn't included, it does come with a five-year warranty. This speedy little boat is not only tons of fun, but will also create a lot of attention on the lake. Pricing for this starts out at around $7,000. Number four. The 1969 Subaru Young 360 SS was an upgraded model of the already upgraded 360 S. The 360 S had already gotten an upgraded EK32F engine, a four-gear transmission instead of the standard three, upgraded bucket seats, tachometer, and a roof dent for carrying surfboards. The 360 SS upgraded the car even further with the EK32S engine with chrome cylinders and dual carburetors. Pushing out 36 horsepower, the car's max speed was around 75 miles per hour. An extremely rare find and a desire of many car collectors, the Subaru 360 Young SS has been purchased at auctions for around $10,000. Number 3. Designed and manufactured by Suzuki, but sold by Mazda under its brand AutoZam, we get the AZ1 a mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, two-door coupe with gull-wing doors and a 657cc turbocharged engine. This thing looks like a mini supercar. The AZ-1 is only 11 feet long, and the cabin of the car is rather tight. It has a small storage area behind the seats for luggage and a spare tire. The engine pushes out around 64 horsepower and is limited to 87 miles per hour. In a car this small and low to the ground, though, 80 miles per hour is sure to feel like 120. These can be found for sale for around $12,000. Number 2. The Jetstream Headwater is a must-have for anyone. 
these all-aluminum boats come in kit versions for you to put together. It measures in at 10 feet long and has seating for two. Because it utilizes an inboard pump jet engine, it's able to easily maneuver through shallow waters, but they also have enough power to move you up the river through rapids. The engine bay is set up for easy jet ski motor donation, and people have put engines in here that push out over 250 horsepower. So don't let their size fool you. The complete kit gets you everything but the engine, with the option of customizing the color however you see fit. The complete kit costs around $2,500. Number 1 Back in the 60s, Greece was one of the leaders in microcar production. A company named Attica created this three-wheeled vehicle that is still remembered to this day. It has seating for four with a bench seat in the back of the car. Powered by a 200cc engine, it's clear where they got the name. It has a max speed of 60 miles per hour. The car was so small that it was originally taxed as a motorcycle instead of a car, because the Greek government said it was too small to be taxed as a real car. Easily one of the rarest mini cars out there, only an estimated 10 are still around. Adding one of these to your car collection will make you the envy of all your friends. We have seen a few for sale, however, going for around $15,000. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.